This place is... This is the hospital's consulting room. Hooray, Ying Mei, we've escaped. What was that creepy experience just now? Was it a hallucination? Why was that thing chasing us? Uh, I don't know. I, I can't take it anymore. Are you all right, Gung Rao? I, I'm fine. Just let me rest a while. Gung Rao responds feebly, with her mental stress relieved. Her legs loosen up and she falls asleep on the sofa beside her. Looks like she really is exhausted. We just went through such a strange event after all. <sighs> I need a rest as well. Wait, this place looks like Dr. Zhang's consulting room. Maybe I can find some information about my car accident. Yes, yes. Rest is for the weak. Papers? Books? Printer. Phone. The signboard reads, Dr. Jang Ying Hao. Here is his consulting room. Pencil. Calendar. Calendar. It looks like some random notes. Nothing special. Succulent? Succulent? Candy. Isn't this the candy that was given to Gung Rao? Why is one here as well? Dude, they're poisoning. Candy poisoning. Welcome back everyone to the Violet Hour. I'm Belisium and today we are continuing with Dream. Chen Sao? Uh, this should be the person I'm trying to find. Strange, why are there no files in it? Annoying. Can't my head just remember more stuff? Yeah, I say that all the time. Lo Saosha should be the girl who was flying a kite then fell down the roof. She was mentioned in Mr. Lu's diary. Can I have? Can I have? Can I have? Can I have? Anything? 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 I am definitely spamming the button. Paperclip. Paperclip. Okay, useless. So this one's upside down. This one's right side up. This should be the little nurse mentioned by both Mr. Lu and Gung Rao, right? Aw, she's so cute. I love her. Still nothing. And that's right side up as well. This person is also mentioned in Mr. Lu's diary. I think he died as well. What is something that smells like a rose fragrance, but not a rose fragrance? Huh. I really want the paper clips. He's got headphones on. Lu Young Song should be the full name of Mr. Lu. Suffering from mental illness, huh? There's a note in it. This place seems collapsing. Why? Mr. Lu suffers from mental illness. All the things he recorded just his delusions? Are they? Or is there something more? More menacing. More maniacal. More... Nothing? Nothing else? All right. So his is right side up. This is... What are you drawing? Chen. Aw, beautiful. Grandma Mo Chung. Does Chen like Grandma a lot? Yes, I like Grandma the most. Grandma treats me the best and will let me go out and play without telling anyone. Another flashback. Was it me? Who was talking to Chen? All these people on this medical record, except for Chen and Mo Chung, the rest seem to be all dead. Is this Dr. Jang up to something? No good. My instincts tell me that I need to find Chen quickly. If I find this Grandma Mo Chung, maybe it will help me find Chen. 
Grandma Mochung currently should be in the ward area. Suddenly, a sense of anxiety flows through my body. I immediately drop the medical record folder and prepare to leave for Mo Chung's ward. Suddenly, the door was opened. Who are you? How dare you trespass my consulting room? Your consulting room? Are you Dr. Zhang? I am, and who are you? Wait, why are you here? How did you get in? Gung Rao and I ran into a strange thing in the corridor just now, and we were chased in this strange space. We got here right after he came out. What are you babbling about? Just who in the world are you? Where's Gung Rao? I'm Ho Young Mei. Gung Rao is there sleeping. Jang Ying Hao first looked at me with extreme confused eyes. Then he starts thinking about all the information he got and tries to piece them all together. What is he confused about? I stared at him, equally puzzled. Then suddenly I remember the purpose for coming here. I'm here to ask you, why did you send me to the morgue when I'm not even dead yet? Do you know that you almost killed me? What? Morgue? This morning? Gu Young asked me to send an unnamed body that died in a car accident to the morgue. At that time, it was covered with a white cloth, so I didn't double-check it. So you were that corpse? You didn't die? What is going on? Hold on. Ying Meng. Are you that... No. It can't be. She looks a bit different, and there's no way she would come here. That's my question! Could you please explain everything to me, clearly? I... I don't know. I know nothing. It was Gu Young who told me what to do. Did he know about your origin? So he... Damn it. He even tricked me. He must be up to something again. Yes, I need to clearly think up with Gung Young. Hey, wait a sec! Jing Ying Hao walked out of his own consulting room while mumbling, leaving me in total confusion. Can't anyone in this hospital hold a decent conversation? Gu Young, was it that doctor that I met once at Mr. Lu's ward? So it wasn't my imagination that he looked slightly fierce when he looked at me. Dr. Zhang said that Gu Young must be up to something again? Are the deaths in this hospital connected to him? If my car accident was not merely an accident, then it would be dangerous to go find Gung Young, Gu Young now. I'll go to Grand Mo Chung's place first, then decide the next step afterwards. After putting together all the information I got, I decided to go to the ward area to find Grandma Mo Chung. This should be the ward area, right? Mo Chung. Mo Chung. Found it. It should be this one. Just when I was about to knock the door, the voice of a man and woman arguing came from the corner not far away. Sounds like Jang Ying Hao's voice. He hasn't went f he hasn't gone far yet. And the other female voice sounds like Miss Kyung Yu. Let's listen to what they are arguing about. Jang Ying Hao, I'm done with all of this. I don't care about what you guys want to do, but I don't want to be a part of it. Don't be like that. Gu Young said we have to unite. Otherwise, if no one is willing to take over, this place is going to collapse. At that time, we will be stuck in this place together, eternally. Heh, <laughs> you're not scaring me, Unite. He just wants slaves that are willing to do all his bidding. How could you talk about him this way? With all the power he holds now, if he hears about this, he definitely will. Definitely what? Get me too? Do you really think Gu Young sees us as his comrades? Have he ever told you about all his thoughts clearly? Well, he didn't, right? Even though you trust him so much, are you dumb? Besides, you've already got the child in your hands, but you can't even make him spit out the whereabouts of one key. I'm starting to wonder that maybe all the accidents that happened recently are all done by you guys. It's not like that. 
He... I don't want to hear some useless excuse anymore. Since I've already have no faith in you guys, I'll go find the key myself. Your commands for now on will be totally ignored by me. Hey, wait! Child? Key? Could the child that was calling me for help in my dreams have something to do with this? It's useless to think too much. I'll go visit Grandma Mo Chung first. I returned back in front of the ward. Just when I was about to knock, the door opened. The man who walked out was the man I've seen a, a plenty few times before. He has a sad look on his face. I remember your name is... Wang Zahao. Just call me Old Wang. Are you here to visit Grandma? Yes, I have a few things I need to ask her. Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Grandma Mo Chung's unstable physical condition sometimes makes me a bit worried. She is awake now and should be able to speak to you. Go on. I have other jobs to do. I'll take my leave first. In the dim room, only a faint yellow light and the screen light from a row of operating equipment provides illumination. She has candy on her desk as well. An old woman with gray hair is lying on the hospital bed, gazing dimly towards the window. Hello, I am Chen Chen. You have come to visit Grandma. Chen Chen? Do you mean Chen Sao? I'm not Chen Sao. You got the wrong person, Grandma. Chen Chen, come to Grandma's side quickly. You haven't come to speak with Grandma for a long while. Grandma? I'm not Chen Sao. My name is Ho Ying Mei. I have some things I'd like to ask you. Chen Chen, why haven't you been visiting Grandma these days? Were you bullied again? Didn't you say you'll take Grandma home and watch the big tree and red butterflies in your hometown together? Grandma doesn't have much time left. I really want to see the butterflies. The ones you said that are so dazzling as fireworks. Grandma seems to be suffering a bit from Alzheimer's disease. Did she mistake me for Chen? What are the butterflies you are talking about, Grandma? Did you forget about it, Chen Chen? Didn't you say whenever it rains at night, after the rain stops, there will be many, many butterflies that will fly out the big tree in your hometown, and it would be like fireworks blooming in the night sky. Such a heavy rain. When the rain stops, the butterflies should come out. Grandma, where is the hometown, you said? Grandma, are you all right? Grandma! No matter how I called her, Grandma just stared outside the window without saying a word, as if there are the butterflies, she said, flying. On the cupboard next to the hospital bed, there are some sweets and a picture frame with a photo of a pair of parents and a child. This photo is... I... What... What happened? Uh... What was that red phantom earlier? Where is this place? Wasn't I... In Grandma Mochong's room? Grandma? Are you still there? Grandma Mochong! This place, it seems to be... An old house, but... How could it possibly be? Could this place be where Grandma used to live? Isn't this a bit too supernatural? I must be dreaming. Ugh, regardless of why, since I'm already here, I have no choice but to look around first. 
Maybe I can find some clues about this place and how to leave. And now we're in this strange place. There are five lines and many grids in the frame on the sliding door. Some grids have numbers. I wonder what do they mean? Death. They mean death. Can I leave? Thank you. Oh, a note. This note uses the same material as the paper used in Mr. Lou's diary. It should belong to Mr. Lou. Why did it fall here? The note says, Finally, it's my turn to go out. Why did they change the doctor? On top of that, it's now a woman. She looks young and feels unreliable. I'm quite young as well. What kind of grudge did this Mr. Lou hold against young female doctors? Um, the one where he has a grudge against young female doctors. That's, that's the one. A table equipped with a stove. Seems that Grandma usually likes to weave things here. Nice. Grandma was a weaver. Nothing special was found. But what about now? But what about now? How about this one? All right, this cabinet, useless. But what about the thing on top of the cabinet? It means nothing. Can you guys stop whispering in my ear? Like, it's a little, little distracting. The answer is no, they have to keep whispering in my ear. All right, these two cabinets, useless. Got it, T, T, T for anyone? U. A picture with a pentagonal pattern. Huh, the pentagon above is a board. No idea what it is for, I'll keep it for now. Acquired a pentagonal board. This is not helpful to me at all. All right. The door seems to be stuck. Can't pull it. Yeah, you guys have trained me well enough that I know not to just, you know. I want the flowers. Uh, immediately go for the door. The window is surrounded by vine-like things. They even extend into the house. The strange light that penetrates inside makes me feel quite uneasy. This is a chessboard. Does Grandma like to play chess? Does Grandma like to play pentagonal chess? No, apparently she doesn't. Okay. I don't know that that's a thing, but if it was, man, I would have been on it. Hmm. All right, well, it doesn't seem like there's anything to pick besides this, so. This board lines up with the lines and the grids perfectly. The grids can be clicked and the numbers will change with it. Maybe I should reset all the numbers to zero. How do I do that? Okay, so these two have to be lit.
Let me let me do that again. Let me start over. Okay. So I need to go six. Everything that it touches. Hold on, hold on. Okay, do we understand this now? So one, two, and three all touch. So if I touch this one, oh, it only affects these three. But if I touch this one, it affects these three. Gotcha. So then this one. If I do this one, that brings those to zero. So then I need to do this one. I need to do this one. And then I need to do this one. I hope that made sense. I don't know how to verbalize what I just did, but I hope if you watch through what I did, that will make sense with that patterning. But basically it was like, the numbers touching next to the button would subtract only directly. Um, done. All of them are reset to zero. And I'm so happy about it too. The sliding door is open. I can leave here now. Is that it? Was that really all there was to this? Okay. This is... What lies behind the door is not a corridor or some other room that belongs to an ordinary house, but a pit, black vortex that seems like it can suck in everything. Is this the right choice to head out from here? But I have nowhere else to go. I have no choice but to grit my teeth and try. I hope I won't end up somewhere strange or dead. I'm glad that you have grown up. You can finally leave the past behind and face the outside world again. Oh, you're such a lovely old lady. It's her who warmed you up, gave you hope, and also gave you the motivation to change. Was that Grandma Mochung speaking? Who is she speaking to? There's more shit in her room. Ah! Uh, why am I back again? It seems a bit different. There's some new stuffs. And the sliding door is now closed. Looks like I'll have to find a way to open the door again. Cake! There's a cake! It looks delicious. I'm a bit hungry right now. It should be fine if I eat it. Yeah, eat strange food in strange places. Never a bad idea. It's as tasty as I expected. Mm. There seems to be some pattern drawn on the plate, but I can't see them clearly. I need to find something to wipe the, wipe the plate clean. Isn't that what tongues are for? Take the dirty plate. Acquired a dirty plate. Yum. There is a round metal piece on the table. And the metal piece is engraved with lines. It might be some use somewhere. Yeah, sure, why not? We're just gonna steal all of Grandma's goods. There's a pin. Oh, a gear. There's a small gear on the table. It might be some use. Oh, one gear. So there's multiples. I like it. The tea is still here. This is a chessboard. Does grandma like to play chess? But what about the piece of paper? This note uses the same material as Mr. Lou's diary. Arguing and more arguing, arguing every day. Can't even have one peaceful day. 
After old woman becomes sick, everyone changed. Nobody follows the rules anymore. Was Mr. Lou talking about grandma? Does everyone refer to all the people in the hospital? Why does grandma's illness affect everyone so much? Because it's grandma. Obviously. All right, are we ready for this? The Great Unveiling. There is a painting on this easel. It's covered with a long cloth. Would you like to lift the cloth? Lift it! This long cloth might be... This long cloth might be of some use. I'll keep it for now. Take the cloth! Hello! Acquired a long cloth. The female's face in this painting resembles Grandma Mo Chung a bit. Is this how Grandma looks when she was young? Is he pretty? See the pretty lady? And look, she has a, a beautiful little heart pendant and a bow in her hair. Ah, lovely. This cabinet has four doors and each door is painted with patterns. These patterns seem to be related to each other. Maybe I can sort them into the correct pattern. Done. It looks like the pattern that was drawn by hand. I wonder what it means. It means you start here, you come down here, you go up here, you come down here, you go over here, and then you go up here. So we open this one. No? All right. Everyone, remember this pattern. All right, all right. Open the door. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be that easy. There are 12 grids in the box on the sliding door. The grids glow when they are clicked. Maybe there's a right order to click. What if I use this over here? Oh! The cloth is to wipe off the plate. I understand now. This cloth should be able to wipe this dish clean because my tongue was just not efficient. Many gems are painted on the plate. What does this mean? It means I put this on the plate. Hmm. I was sure that was going to work. Got pink, red, yellow, light blue, dark blue, purple.
Okay. So light blue down to the yellow one. Up to the purple pattern. Down to the red one. Over to the light blue. Up. the pink right it's going here then here oh wait down up to the right okay down up this one then this one then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Remember that for me, right? I don't know why I do puzzle games. I'm so bad at them. And then when I realize how bad I actually am, it's it's horrifying. All right. Let me let me write up. So my grid has one, two, and then three. One, two, and three. So that's my box. I'm drawing the I'm drawing. I'm drawing this. And then Oh, nope. Give me back. Okay. So how do I make that work? If we start here go down straight up down to the corner, all the way across, and then back up to this corner. So I'm drawing this pattern on that grid. Let's see if that is the answer. Let's just get rid of these, shall we? Okay, so we start here. We come down here, up here, down here, this corner, up to that corner. You, I did this one, right, over one. Maybe it's up here, down in the corner here, over here, no. One, two, up here, corner, across. That would have been cool because the way that pattern came out. So maybe it's two over, straight up, here, here, here. Hmm, why do I feel like I'm so close to having this right, but I'm just like slightly off or something? All right, I don't know. I'm missing something important here. A wood box that can't be opened. 
There's a circular groove on the wood box. Something might need to be installed to open it. A gear. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, a circle plate. Yeah, this metal piece fits into the grooves perfectly. After installing the metal piece, it looks like a maze. Seems that in order to move the dot to the center of the maze, I need to turn the metal piece and push the cover to the right. Okay. Oh, nifty. I mean, that was really easy. It opened. Looks like this is a jewelry box with many gems in it. These gems seem to have some sort of order. Uh, oh, guys, I get it now. Okay, so we have, we have the order. Okay, so we need to do, uh, we're gonna call that aquamarine. Aquamarine goes down to Aquamarine goes to Tanzanite. Tanzanite goes up to Amethyst. Amethyst goes down to Ruby. Ruby goes over to Sapphire. And Sapphire comes over to Pink Sapphire. It's the only uh, pink colored stone that I know of is uh, Sapphire's can be pink. I'm sure there's others, but you know. Okay, so we're gonna say that's Aqua. So, hold on, hold on. We're gonna go. One. Two. Amethyst is this one. So that's three. And then I said rupee, so this is four. After ruby is sapphire. Shoot, which one did I, what did sapphire look like again? Oh. Wait. Oh, I did that wrong. This is one. So this one is one. And then that's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. And that's six. Let me just double check. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. We we got it, guys. We got it. And if we haven't got it, I don't know what else to do. So this is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. Six. I, I've lost my mind. Wait. 
one. Oh, hold your horses. No, oh, it's circular. Oh, this is one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Well, you know what? I had it right the first time. My sapphire and my aqua was all backwards. All right, let's try this this way now. Okay, so five, or that one is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, completed the correct order. The sliding door is open, but what lies behind the door is the same as before. Can I leave this this time? Yeah, I guess. The same pit of black vortex as before. Seems like I have no choice but to step into it. I hope I can leave successfully this time. This place is created by you. It's all yours. You have the power to take back everything. But do you really need to do so? 